to the eternally curious, unapologetically superstitious Midnight Society rejects, Stormy Willow welcomes you. We are the eccentric coots, storytellers, explorers, dabblers, practitioners, and paranormal pupils who examine the what's ifs, the what's that's, and WTFs of this dimension and beyond. Welcome to the Stormy Willow Podcast. I'm your host, Sarah, along with my talented, lovely sister, Adele. And if you are into all things paranormal and funky and quirky and weird, then you have found the right podcast to listen to. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> and I am um, I'm super excited because if you guys, if you're if you've been listening for a few episodes, um, usually I know what Adele's going to talk about and I was going to try to be smart and guess this time. And I obviously guessed wrong. So uh, today will be a mystery for me as well. when We get to that, that part of the show. So I can't wait. <laughs> yeah, that'll be fun. I, I think it's a good topic. It. It's actually one that I'm really interested in. Yes. And I think it's more popular now but it, it still isn't the most popular topic so it, it should be pretty interesting I cannot wait well we are recording on the Saturday so happy Saturday you will be on, on a Monday unfortunately so. <laughs> yeah how was how's your weekend been uh pretty good I'm I'm pretty excited about my new Teen Wolf flannel <laughs> shirt that I'm wearing yes, watching. I, see, I saw it on social oh. and I've seen it live we got the oh, it's in the so you that, got like Teen Wolf in the collar and all this I didn't thing. realize that it had actual Teen Wolf like yeah. okay I feel like a jackass because I didn't realize when you were calling it your Teen Wolf I just thought because the flannel looked like the flannel from yeah Teen it's Wolf. like the, the it had Teen Wolf on the collar and yeah it's it's Teen Wolf so it's branded that's with, amazing with Teen Wolf on it. And it's the beaver colors if you're yes. a basketball team. <laughs> oh, so, beef. Yeah. So beef it's super beavers. comfortable. Uh, so plugging middleofbeyond.com. They have these flannels for like every horror movie and kind of like weird kind of movie like Teen Wolf. Yes. So they have like a Hannibal Lecter one, a Ghostbusters one. Oh. Um, like. That is so cool. All sorts of different ones. But they also have like other stuff too. That's cool. So definitely check out middleofbeyond.com. Um, Heck yeah, well, that shirt is really awesome. I love it. It looks so good on you. I, oh, it's so soft, too. I love a good so flannel. It's like, oh, yeah, it's great. And then you um, add Teen Wolf on top of that. I mean, what? Yeah, I was like, uh, I'm getting Teen Wolf. <laughs> <laughs> um, and, no, and whenever Adele is talking about Teen Wolf, I, there's only one Teen Wolf as far as I'm concerned. Oh, yeah. I'm not this talking is, like new Teen Wolf. We're talking like classic 80s Michael J. Fox Teen Wolf. Just Michael J. Fox, yes. I just don't want there to be any confusion there. Yeah, the one and only Teen Wolf. Absolutely. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Good call out there. Yes. Um, we also got our little doggy, Pearl. We got her test results for from her DNA <laughs> test. Um, and so plugging in bark as well. But surprisingly like she's a little gray dog we really thought she was a yorkie but she's actually 61 percent poodle and 32 percent chihuahua only six percent yorkie i'm surprised so yeah that was a fun little surprise but a lot of times when we're out and about people ask what kind of dog she is and now you know. can be like hey we know she's we a have the chihuahua or a poochie we were kind of <laughs> going back and forth between <laughs> <laughs> i love it well she's adorable so yeah She's I like, love it. Well, Herman is enjoying his best life. He, um, before, that's why I look so um, crazy. On by the, the way, podcast. Herman is her dog. Yeah, Herman <laughs> is my dog. <laughs> also our grandpa. But if we ever had kids, we were like that. I mean, he's not kids. our dog grandpa. He's named after her. That's right. He's named after our <laughs> grandpa. But we always said that if we ever had kids, it's like we were, Adele and I love our papa, Herman. 
the time. And so we're like, wow, that would be such, you know, if we ever had children, like, that'd be so cool for their name to be Herman. But that's kind of a tough name to put on a human, but it's great <laughs> for our dog. <laughs> it's yeah. perfect. But he um, he has a brand new uh, bathrobe. So Adele got to see him before we started recording. And so he had his little bath. And that's why I like this, is, you know, did yard work and gave Herman a bath. And then he's all like nestled into his little bathrobe, just living his best life. He really so. does. He looked like a little Hugh Hefner. <laughs> <laughs> he just needs a little cigar. <laughs> but yeah, he's all cuddled up and just, he's fine. He's loving life. <laughs> he is a rascal. Yeah. So, so are you going to tell me a spooky story? Like, okay, so I've got like my little spooky cat blanket. I've got my Diet Coke. Um, I, I bought some more Girl Scout cookies. That happened, and I'm ready for you to tell me a story. So you're ready for a story. So any any additional guesses on what you think the topic? Okay, so be? my original guess for those of you guys, uh, I, I sent you a personal text message. So I thought maybe you were going to cover satanic panic, and you said, eh. "Oh, wait a minute! I think you misspelled it. It said satanic picnic." So it was like. <laughs> I was like, that would be really hard to cover as a topic, but it'd be really fun to like see one. Okay, now, I, now, okay, that's funny because I didn't really understand your um, reply. I was like, when I said I would like to attend one, yeah, I was like, you want to attend a satanic panic? Like, I'm no, so a satanic cute. panic. Either you misspelled it or I misread it. I don't know. No, I thought it said know, satanic. I picnic. have autocorrect, so it probably did. Uh, <laughs> Hey, maybe when we get Patreon going, that could be like our first event. <laughs> Actually, that might be a fun little game to let, you know, just type in satanic and then let your auto um, text like do whatever the next word is and see what it says. Am I right? Is it satanic panic? Oh, uh, let me go look. Dude, I don't know. Like, be... No, like for your topic. Oh, no, no. <laughs> so I was so wrong, did you spell it correctly? Um, but any, any other guesses? No. All right. Well, you might be in for a treat because it is staircases in the woods. Because you had mentioned that staircase that leads to nowhere. What? A staircase in the woods? Yes. Have you ever heard of this no, like, phenomenon? What do you mean? Like, is this like one staircase in the woods or is this yeah. like... I'm so confused. All over the place, especially in the national parks. What? Yes. Okay, I don't know anything. Okay, so when I so last week you said I said something that gave you like I'm definitely doing it, and so it was the stairs. Okay, it was the stairs leading to nowhere. Got yeah. it. Okay. Yes. Um, well, okay. If you I've were, never heard of this, really. Okay, good. No. Um, if you were to stumble across a staircase in the woods, would you climb it? Yeah, I probably would. <laughs> yeah, I probably would too. I'm just gonna really, be honest. Really shouldn't do that. I mean, you know, the structure looks sound. <laughs> I would go for it. If it's if it's seaworthy. Exactly. That's what I was going with. Yeah. Um, so okay, some people say that these stairways lead to another dimension. And some what? even say what's that? Another dimension? Yeah, and some even say that they go straight to hell. I doubt that. <laughs> oh my gosh. All right, so let's just get so, into it. Like, you're just walking in the woods and there's just a random staircase? Random what? staircase. But like no other house housing like debris. It's just a staircase. But is it like a modern looking staircase? Or does it look, do they all look the same? Do they no, look they all look different. They're all different shapes. Made from different materials, different time periods. I'm Googling this as I need an image. Yeah. This is crazy. So just a little backstory of what made this kind of uh, internet phenomenon like really popular was a Reddit post um, from the Search and Rescue subreddit. And the username was Search and Rescue Woods. So we don't know who it really is. And they posted it in a no sleep subreddit. But now you can find like the, the search and rescue posts like all over the place and shared across Reddit and just all over the internet. But 
This is supposedly, I think around either between like 2015, 2017, I couldn't get an exact year of when the post actually happened. It was really hard to find the original post. Um, but apparently it's a search and rescue officer. So those are the people like that go out in the woods, in the national parks and right. you know, if it's elsewhere in the world and find people who are missing, right? Gotcha. So this is a kind of a rookie search and rescue person. So they're mm-hmm. new to it. And uh, they post a few of their stories. And it's really, so I did read the first post. I think it's a series of seven posts because people, you know, are responding and then they'll like comment to, so it's just whole like discussion board. Right. So I thought it was interesting because they were, they were sharing a few experiences, just like, all right, these are some weird things I've seen on the job. And then after like a, a few stories, the very last one is about the staircase. Um, so I quote, on just about every case where we're really far into the wilderness, I'm talking 30 or 40 miles, at some point we'll find a staircase in the middle of the woods. It's almost like if you took the staircase in your house, cut them out, and put them in the forest. Yeah, I was just, I just did like a Google search, an image search, and that's exactly what it looks like. And um, then they also go on to say that their unit discouraged uh, discussion of these staircases via their superiors. So they didn't like for people to talk about them. And they experience these staircases so frequently that most of the more seasoned people just don't even care. They're just like, whatever. It's just another freaking staircase. Is it, and you might be, I might be jumping way ahead, but is it a hoax? I don't know. Okay. Like. We'll kind of get into, you know, thoughts around, you know, is it fake? Is it real? A yeah. Bit later. Um, and so also just kind of starting with that Reddit as like my point of reference, just because that seemed to be the thing that sparked this whole like other sharing of stories. Yeah. Um, so there's a detailed account in part two of their post. So they're on the search for a four-year-old who got separated from their mom. Okay. And they find him and return him. It's just okay. that, that took them out into the woods. And then on the way back, the person's trainer is like, let's take a detour so I can show you this hot spot of area, like this area where people go missing a lot, just so you're aware of it. And they go like a few miles, maybe like eight miles from the main parking area, wherever this national park is. They don't, they don't say the location. Right. So they're like eight miles out of like where people normally are. And the search and rescue officer um, notices something tall in the distance. Which is and weird. Do you hear the helicopter going around our house? When you said search and rescue, there's like, now there's a helicopter. Oh, <laughs> there might be a staircase out there somewhere. Oh, right. uh, um, <laughs> he's talking about this right now. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, oh, I, yeah, I don't know. So That's weird. weird. <laughs> like Stormy Willow. Stop talking about the staircase. Don't talk about it. <laughs> we discourage your discussion. <laughs> I mean, that was kind of weird. Okay, sorry. Weird. I was like, whoa. <laughs> no, it's fine. But uh, so the person who made the post, the poster, I guess I'll say, they see this tall thing in the distance and they're curious about it. And trainers yeah. like, okay, whatever, go check it out while I'm like looking around this area more. And it's a staircase. <laughs> Um, this one's described as having beige carpet. It's only about <laughs> 10 steps. That's carpet. I love that. <laughs> and beige <Okay>. carpet. <laughs> like that. So not like okay. a stairway to heaven or something. Um, so it's only about to consider that design of the stairway to hell. <laughs> <laughs> maybe it's a stairway to Bobby Mackey's. It's yeah, all maybe cool. it all leads to Bobby Mackey's basement. <laughs> Now I have to climb one of these staircases. And I'll be at Bobby Mackey's waiting for you. Like, all right, three, I'll be like, two, one. I'm like poltergeist. <laughs> oh, I'm back. Wow. <laughs> There's all this crap all over me. Adele, come to the light. Adele, follow the light. <laughs> so Bobby oh. Mackey's honky tonk. <laughs> I love the music. You hear, like, you hear like fiddles and stuff. Follow the... <laughs> I come out and I fainted in the men's bathroom. 
<laughs> yeah, he fainted in the men's bathroom. I was like, crap, I hate it when that happens. <laughs> JR. <laughs> and if you guys don't know what we're talking about, it's all the previous episode on Bobby Mackey. Right. <laughs> checking that out. Um, <laughs> so, okay, so they find this kind of beige, beige carpeted okay. staircase, <laughs> and it's made of wood. That's the material. Okay. Um, and then I quote they how they describe it is it's almost like a video game glitch where the house has failed to load completely and the stairs are the only thing visible. So if you really? can kind of imagine what that looks like, makes me think of like The Sims. <laughs> it glitches something. Yeah, like. that's just weird. It makes yeah. me think of like a house that just like burned down and all that's left is like the stairs, but there's like no well, debris. True, that's some of the theories, and that hey, probably it once was a house. <laughs> Yeah, we'll, we'll get into that, the argument. You would think that the wood would have burned though with the stairs. Yeah, so we'll get into I mean, like point know. and counterpoint a little okay. bit later once we hear more about some of these. But stairs. still, that's creepy. Just be walking in the woods, like oh, right. It's just like the surprise place. factor, too. Yeah, right. It's just out of place. Because yeah, like, even if you think about like the Blair Witch Project, like you don't actually see a witch, but whenever you start seeing those creepy stick things, yeah, like, that's true. Just in their camp, you're just like. Ew, this is unnerving. Right, exactly. Like, I don't like this. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, by this point, the, the trainer um, is now with that search and rescue person that they're training, the poster, and doesn't really care about the stairs. But um, she does say, get used to it, rookie. You're going to see a lot of them. Um, okay, a lot of stairs in the woods. Yeah, so... The poster goes to touch the stairs, and the trainer grabs her arm, advising not to go near the stairs. Um, the poster wants to ask about it, but senses that they shouldn't by the trainer's look. Kind of like, don't touch it. Don't he talk about it. it. We're just going to not what? acknowledge that it's there. And then, then once this person is more seasoned, they're like, yeah, she was right. Like, they, if they had to estimate, they would say roughly every fifth call that they went on, they would no. see a staircase. Seriously, that frequent. That's According like, to them, <laughs> I just I don't know. I mean, I don't. I mean, I'm not one to hike that much, so I wouldn't be. A, you know, I'm gonna ask my friend Rachel. Yeah, I mean, I, if anybody out there has actually encountered one of these staircases, Kelly, please, we're talking me. to you, Kelly. Yeah, she's never well, mentioned anything, but I might ask her about it. <laughs> yeah, that would be, wow, that would be very, I don't know, it's just weird. Just, it's weird, right? Strange. Um, so just, then, like I said, the general appearance of these stairs, so there are varieties of shapes, sizes, materials, okay. conditions, and styles. So you might have some, like, stone ones that look really grand, ones that are... No, I have seen, like, stone stairs, like, at the Greenway and stuff. Yeah. But, I mean, so, those are so obviously, they right? like... Yeah, those aren't, I mean, I think they were made to help. They were made like, to last. Yeah, they weren't like a random staircase. You know what I mean? Like, whoa. Yeah. And um, I didn't go on to read all seven of these posts because I didn't want this whole episode to be about that. I wanted it to be about the staircases overall, but this right. is what sparked it. But um, there are other accounts from this user as well as... Um, some of the people they worked with that they're sharing That's stories right. about. But it's nearly impossible to know for sure if this is true or fabricated, and we don't even know the real identity of the poster. So I guess take this with a grain of salt. But right. What's interesting about it is how much interest it sparked. Yeah. It's like you could have put this poster could have been the one that put the stairs there. And got I mean, it down. Never know. Yeah. Well, listen, I just want you all to be aware that I'm back on my murder she wrote kick. So <laughs> I've got my investigative mind just spinning. <laughs> they uh, Roku um, uploaded like the rest of the seasons that I hadn't watched yet. So I'm um, I've got my detective thinking cap on. <laughs> there you go. That's what you're probably you, that's what you're picking up. You're like, wow, Sarah's oh, like really inquisitive. Yeah, she's trying to crack the mystery and still let me tell my story. <laughs> <laughs> you're like, can you not watch that until before I record? <laughs> yeah, can. Can you just let me creep everybody out first, okay? Like, can you just stop J.B. Fletcher <laughs> wannabe? <laughs> All right, I'm sorry. Go ahead. I'm listening. No, you're good. But um, since that post, or on the time of that post, uh, stairways have been reported in at least seven countries. 
Oh, and so it's not just the United States. That was, for some reason, my mind was just thinking like national parks just here. So yeah. other countries too. Okay. Yeah, but they are mostly found in like national park kind of areas. Gotcha. Okay. Um, so let's talk about some f- more famous cases of some staircases like this. Yes. So one is just right in my backyard. It's Uh-oh. vanishing staircases of Roswell, New Mexico. Ooh. So allegedly... I'm going to leave it at that. <laughs> in the 1940s, a doctor who was working for the CDC and some others on his team witnessed a staircase in the woods that was giving off some kind of frequency. So I think it was more like a sound, like, right. a, you know, it's just something that it's giving off. So they positioned their campsite near the stairs. And in the morning, the stairs moved further away. They, like, weren't in the same space. And, left and you would think you would hear somebody moving a staircase. Right. And they're I mean, like <laughs> doctors, government workers. Like they probably aren't right. that heavy of sleepers. Right. <laughs> um, so in the morning, the staircase had moved. And what was left behind from where the sta- staircase was, was burn marks um, where it had been previously. Which sounds more like UFO kind of activity, right? Yeah, that's where my mind was going. Especially at Roswell. Yeah, and then they try to take, like, readings on the staircase. Can't really, you know, they can't really figure out, like, what's going on with it. It also, I believe, I didn't note it, but I think it looked like it was made of wood. But whenever they tried to, like, you know, chisel it or take a sample, it was indestructible. Wow. Like, they couldn't do it. And then a few days later, it just altogether disappeared. Weird. Yeah. But... What I find odd is supposedly the CDC was there to investigate cattle mutilations in the area close to around the time of the Roswell UFO crash. Mm. I think that happened in like 1947-ish, between 47 and 49. Um, But so it's kind of like, all right, CDC and doctors sound legit, but I couldn't find like the actual source of the story. Gotcha. And you know around that time in Roswell, there's just all sorts of stories going on. Oh, so I don't yeah. know if this is just like an urban legend, or if there's any kind of validity to this account. Right. Or if those records have been um, burned or... Put under the staircase and scorched. Under- yeah. <laughs> so Interesting. That's mm, one that's famous story of some of these staircases, but this one's a little special in that it vanishes. That's, yeah. How? Then, in the Philippines, there's another staircase. Um, They're calling it the Staircase of Missing Time. Um, So, this is a similar person. I think they're a ranger, but they also do search and rescue because people get lost in the jungle a lot that are back Yeah, that would be terrifying. So, they're just kind of doing their routine patrol, and they stumble upon not one, but two staircases. (laughs) Oh, shit. And these two staircases, um, I think they're stone. One's a little bit more elaborate and one's a little bit more basic. So this person actually climbs the staircase. Um, They want to get a better vantage point because they're trying to look through all this greenery. So they're like, I want to climb a staircase so I can see better. (laughs) So they climb the staircase for a better vantage point. Um, They don't see anybody out there. Just like, this part's weird to me. Just a vicious looking dog. Okay, well. So, yeah. To avoid the dog, they climb higher up the staircase until the dog goes away. Okay. Okay. And this is where there's some discrepancies across sources. Some say after a few minutes, some say after a few hours, the ranger returns to the ranger station. And upon, like, he's surprised when he gets there because he finds out he's been fired. And he's like, why am I fired? Because they're like, you haven't shown up to your post for hours. Some say days. And then one of them says, you haven't been here for five years. So it's like. I mean, well, days, it's... hours, months, years. Yeah. What? So, so in this story, there already seem to be some discrepancies. But supposedly, the ranger went up the stairs. And then it was like a time vortex. He thought what? he was gone. Or I'll, I'll say they. I don't know. I don't know identity of the person right the ranger um, so the ranger's like i just went up these 
to investigate the like stairs. I, yeah, like I was like five within minutes like, max. Yeah. And, like and they're like, you've been exactly. gone for hours. No, you've been gone for five years. <laughs> right. But like, if the ranger has like a family or I mean, what you think somebody would, like, would be like, he would have been, or they would have been like missing or something. And right. So, like, that would be more believable for the five years. Like, I mean, that's, you know, somebody I would think, I mean, hours maybe, but like, I would think maybe a few years. I think days would be more reasonable. Like, okay, you didn't show up to work for like five days in a row and we couldn't get it. Yeah. Hold of you. But, like, like, wouldn't my family be worried? But like, I, I mean, yeah, right. There's like yeah. a lot. It's like, hmm. I don't that's know so if I weird really though. But yeah. if it mm-hmm. is true, it is pretty creepy. Do they get their job back? <laughs> <What's> <laughs> they explain? I don't know. I'm if they're five the years stairs. older, maybe. Like, yeah, like, are they out of shape? Or, like, Let do they not explain. age? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like, oh, my gosh. Like, dude, why do you, why do you look so different? <laughs> like, because it's been five years. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, that one's, nah. Kind of okay, yeah. Like, all okay. right, this is supposedly one of the more famous of these staircase stories, but okay, that one, ugh, that one has some fact issues or you know time right. problems. I mean, it's still interesting, but, but the yeah, last yeah. time is the problem, right? <laughs> With this, isn't that the truth about just life? <laughs> Let's just be real. That's just the, maybe that just like solved the whole world mystery. Yeah, um, problem. Never enough of it. You heard it here first, guys. <laughs> um, okay, and then there's also the ghostly stairs in Sweden. Ooh, I like these. Maybe, yeah. maybe not. I don't know. Not much to this story. Um, ah. So Axel and Isaac are friends and they're out hiking in okay. the woods and they go a very long distance. It's been like a few hours deep in the woods and they come across a staircase. What did these look like? Oh, I don't remember a description. I want to come across an escalator. <laughs> <laughs> that would be a little bit more unnerving, I think, because it'd be like, there should be like a mall or something here. <laughs> and then I'm like, be <laughs> moving. Like, yeah, that <laughs> would be really, really creepy. <laughs> I would. And I would so, I mean, I would get on it. I'm not going to lie. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So Isaac wants to climb the staircase, but Axel is like, I don't want anything to do with that staircase. It's creepy. Axel, why you gotta be like that, man? Right. So Isaac climbs to the top. Is yeah. like, All right, whatever, you stay on here, I'm climbing it. But okay. once he gets to the very top, they both hear just a shrill, like blood curdling, horrifying scream. It scares the crap out of both of them. So they take off running. They just run away from the stairs and run, like, until they're out of breath and, like, can't run anymore. So then as they all, you know, stop to catch their breath, um, it's such a lame ending. Something cold puts its hand on Axel's shoulder. <laughs> That's the end of the story. Wow. Wow. Right? So maybe it was a ghost, maybe not. But the thing Axel just had to make it up big hit for being a wuss and not going up the stairs. Right. It's that's like, oh, mean. yeah, that's why it grabbed That was it. such a JR move. Oh, right? Axel. Totally. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Axel's a JR, the story. I'm just going to. Yeah. Did so, you pull that full hand? Dude, no. You were just jealous that you didn't go up the stairs. Like, oh, I also had a scary experience. Ooh. <laughs> yeah. I feel like Axel had to just throw that in there. I was like, I also had You know experience. what the scream probably was? Axel. No, no. Axel. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> Axel. But that was all I could find as far as some of these actual known cases of specific okay. stairs and places, but this is not one of the staircases in the woods, but still like a pretty popular staircase here in New Mexico. And it's the miraculous staircase at Loreto Chapel in mm-hmm. Santa Fe. Oh, you should go. Yeah, you can go see it. So actually, I think whenever you were buying your hat when we were in Madrid, 
there was a painting of a spiral staircase. And I said, oh, that's a really famous staircase here. It's that staircase. Ooh, we'll share pictures yeah. on social. Yeah, yeah. But um, yeah, so this is a pretty fun story. So in the 1800s, seven nuns established a school for girls, which included a chapel. Um, and it was constructed in the Gothic revival style that was popular at that time. I don't really know what that looks like, but okay. <laughs> <laughs> so the architect was, I believe, French, and his name was Antoine Mouly. I think is how you'd say it. Like that. So he's building this, you know, chapel. It looks beautiful. It's actually kind of a smaller size than a standard chapel around here right. at that time. And he's so close to being done, almost done. All he needs to do is add a staircase to the choir loft, but yeah. he dies. Oh, no. He dies in 1878 uh, before he's able to add that final feature. And a standard staircase is too big to fit in this smaller chapel. Right. And the nuns don't really feel comfortable using a ladder to climb that high. And I get it. Yeah. I think, I think they're pretty old, too. So that left the chapel not functional, essentially. Oh. So then two years later, around 1880... The order started praying to St. Joseph, and St. Joseph is the patron saint of carpenters. Okay. Okay. Makes sense. And then on the ninth day of prayer, a carpenter appears with his mule and a bunch of tools and materials. What? Talk about a manifestation. Right? Um, he claims he can make a custom staircase that will fit the space. He just needs to work alone in complete privacy. Okay. Uh, they kind of set up an arrangement. Whenever he's working, nobody's in there. If they need to be in the chapel, then he's going to take a break and be away. Okay. He needs to be completely alone. So the carpenter completes the stairs, and the sisters are super happy. They love it. They throw him a big banquet as a thanks, that like the evening. But whenever they go to get him to go to the banquet, he's completely vanished. Like, he's just not there anymore. And he never took payment of any kind. He... Nothing like no type of you wow. know compensation for the staircase. Um, and the construction is mysterious as well. So there's no central column or support beam, all of the weight is self supported at the base, which is like a very unusual style, like pretty advanced for that time period. He also used no nails or glue, only wooden pegs. And wow. there's no no railing. Um, also, another odd thing about it is it's 33 steps, and that was the age of Jesus at his crucifixion. Oh. And the sisters believe that it was St. Joseph that built this wow. staircase for them. That's pretty awesome. I can think these bumps. Yeah. But I think, you can still go see it today? Yeah, it's still there. They've added a railing because it did make some of the nuns a little bit nervous to climb 33 steps. I think it was pretty high. Yeah. So they do have a railing on it now. Um, wow. But yeah, they, they claim cool. it St. Joseph. I, there, there has been some research on this. I think one author believes they think they know who the real carpenter was, but it's still kind I of... I mean, wonderful. regardless, that's pretty cool that somebody did that. Yeah. Whether it's it was St. Like Joseph or somebody that just knew that there was a need and yeah. did it. Yeah. So, yeah, it's just like a fun little tale. Here. Uh, I love that. Yeah. Really cool. And then my biggest question that's still lingering is other than the Swedish kids that climb the staircase, like what actually happens if you do climb them? Yeah. Like awesome. I have not come across an account of like someone saying, like, I have done this. <laughs> but right. there is a TikTok. Her name is Jessie V on TikTok. Um, so she talks about how you should never go up these stairs. Um I quote, only if you have ever dared to climb staircases and the people who have report feeling unnerved and unwelcome or even nauseous when they're up in, on the stairs. Uh, she continues to say, some people say the stairs lead to another dimension. Other people say it leads to hell. Others say that's why so many people and kids go missing in national forests because they climb these stairs and they're never. What? So that's her take on it on TikTok. That's interesting. And then, last but not least, I'm just going to plug Wynonna Earp. 
because I'm a huge fan of <laughs> the show. It was based off of a comic book, but Sci-Fi Channel's went on an ERP. Um, they actually do have a staircase in the woods, but this actually in this show leads to the Garden of Eden, where and like Winona, Waverly, and Nicole, they all have to be protectors of the staircase and the, the garden. Um, so if you're really into like, it, it's such a funny show. Like just like the one-liners are awesome. <laughs> I like, love getting them on. Such great characters. So Winona is a descendant of Wyatt Earp, and she has Peacemaker, this con, but it's for like killing demons and keeping purgatory Colorado like safe. So if you're into like Buffy the Vampire Slayer. Or like Lost Girl, you you would love Why Don't I Earp if you I know, watch it. I think um, I like it. Um, I so I can't I couldn't find out if the staircase where they shot this was real, but it looks a lot like one of these famous staircases in the woods in New Hampshire called Madame Cherie's Castle. Now we know that that's not a mysterious staircase though, because she did have a castle there, and it, like just you know fell it it right. deteriorated really? over the years. Yeah. So you can tell it was a part of an actual structure. It's just not like randomly out in the middle like these right. other ones. And now it just looks creepy like a random staircase, but they know right. historically that it's it from that. once a property there. <laughs> um, and for any Winona or fans, I'm just going to say the Homestead staircase, the scene with Waverly and Nicole. If you know, you know, that's a great staircase. <laughs> I don't know, but <laughs> Adele flushing. <laughs> <laughs> oh man! I, 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 just, with that. <laughs> I tell you, like this is—I'm just like trying to wrap my head around like being out on the height and you know, like just seeing that. Like, I think yeah. I would definitely be curious, and I would climb it, even though I shouldn't. Right? Yeah, I, just, I know me. I would do it, or make it's Stephen do it. The whole <laughs> curiosity thing, right? <laughs> I know. All right. Oh. Well, let's talk about like some support and criticism, and then we can just talk about our opinions if you want. Yeah. So some support for these staircases being real and unusual um, is that it seems that all the reports of these staircases they have no debris around them as far oh, as like yeah. housing structures, so you're not seeing yeah. like, any other remains of the house and most are in protected parks where you aren't allowed to build homes gotcha but i'm like well i guess the counterpart to that is they weren't always protected so it really just depends on timeline that you're talking about at that point right but yeah to see like those babies. but you would think you would still see ruins because like you know like you know like you yeah. like the hikes that i've done like you can still see like a chimney ruin or you know like something yeah. like that you knew that there was one time something there yeah. So, I mean, I would think you would, if there was still a staircase, you would still see some other parts of the house. Yeah. Right. And yeah. I also think that the staircases would break down over time. Yeah. I mean, my whole thing is, especially that if it's true at all, it could just be made up, but that beige carpeted staircase, like, that, that feels be... like something from, like, at least the 1900s, right? Which, surely that park was protected before that so where like how could those have been built like that's yeah. a head scratcher unless it's just a complete lie exactly um another thing that's curious about these is they are always clean of debris and vegetation see that's me i'm like that just i would think that they would be they would look like just really warped and have the dirt they're always, yeah they're always and like, they have, like swept. Broke. Like, like you no, know, vines. no bird poop, no vegetation, yeah. nothing. They're, they're listen, let me tell you, I just pulled down some cedars that died, and there was already, like, vegetation and all kinds of stuff. And you mean to tell me there's just, like, a staircase out here with nothing? Yeah, that, that's like, kind of odd. I think that's odd, too. Um, and kind of getting back to that point with the missing people, so the stairs are always found near where a person has disappeared. That's that weird, but I also find it subjective, too, because you don't really know everywhere where people go missing, yeah. <laughs> where there aren't staircases. That's where they went missing, and when you have found them. Yeah. Or like I guess, bodies were found there or something. I mean, I don't know. So a lot of these national forests are just so massive. So they massive. are. Like, I, I think it would... I think some people are just never going to be found that have gone missing there. Yeah. Or they committed suicide and, like, hid themselves because they didn't want to be found. I don't know. 
or they went up some stairs. <laughs> or, they, or like they just went on a hike and wanted to, they just saw stairs and went up them. And like, now they're like stuck in this whole different dimension. <laughs> right, like a wormhole or something. It's like, I don't know. And um, yeah, some of the criticisms I, th I think we've kind of covered in discussion already, but like, also, just some of these stories seem like tall tales, especially the one from the Philippines. Like, yeah, it's just like okay, like even the Sweden, the one in Sweden. Yeah, like um, that one was in like a prank. Yeah, like the the one that was posted on Reddit. I think what's interesting about it is it does have so much detail, but right. the no sleep subreddit are literally like stories people write for entertainment to help them go to sleep. Like, they're not promised to be true stories, but right. it, it's hard to tell. That's so weird. Yeah. And the whole Roswell thing, I, I kind of mentioned that during um, the topic itself, but there was just so much weird crap going around there. Like, I'm right. sure all sorts of sto stories were flying. <laughs> no and we didn't get the name of the doctor with the CDC. Or, yeah, or, yeah, like, different things like that. So... Yeah, I think the problem is a lot of these lack, like, the source, but it's still creepy. It <laughs> is creepy. The topic's really cool, and I love that Wynonna Earp incorporated that into their story. Yeah, that's really, I have never heard of this before, so I, I was like, what do you mean? Staircase in the woods. Yeah, what so wood? <laughs> they say if you see them, don't touch them, don't climb them. Just leave, let it be. Just leave it alone. <laughs> But Maybe I'll think twice if I come across them. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> yeah. So that's really spooky though. Like, I don't know. It just seems so unnatural. I don't know. It seems weird. Yeah. Though. Yeah. It's just creepy. Like it just doesn't really fit. Like there's a rare redwood. There's a stairs with beige carpet. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's just like what is that? I, I don't know. Like, okay. <laughs> it's just very bizarre. Mm -hmm. Wow. Well, that's a good topic. Never, one I've never heard of. I'm going to ask my hiking friends. Yeah. Yeah. And I like that it tied into uh, the staircase here in Santa Fe. Um, yeah. That's really cool. You'll have to, um, you'll have to go check that out. Oh yeah, definitely. I, or maybe next time you guys visit and we, yeah, we'll, go. Santa Fe, we'll head that way. That'd be really cool. I really would like to see that. That's a cool story. Yeah. Good so, one, Adele. Thought that was like, an interesting one that's yeah. you know, not super. I mean, it's popular. one that's not super popular either, I feel like. Yeah. So, like yeah. Um, you know, getting ready for spring and you're going to be doing some hiking soon. Beware, listeners. Mm -hmm. <laughs> take some oh, rope with yeah. you. Yeah. <laughs> take right. like a tether, like a, just take all the tips from poultry guys if you're going to yeah. climb one of these stairs. <laughs> that's probably not a bad idea. <laughs> not a bad it's idea. It's like tie yourself to a tree. Climb it. Bring your, bring and your friend. Just tether yourself back. <laughs> bring an account accountability partner with you. Maybe yeah. bring a good medium along. I mean, yeah. A medium saying. app detector, anything. Yeah. Just don't be caught. Some holy water. <laughs> yeah, some holy water. I mean, wow. That is a great topic. I really like it. And like, I'm just like, I'm like seeing those pictures, like you can just Google it and they have like certain images and stuff. And it's just kind of, it is like, it's a little unnerving. It's like, oh. Yeah. It just, it's, it's like beckons you to climb it, but there's something kind of like, don't do it. it. <laughs> yes. It, yeah, definitely. There's something kind of dangerous seeming about these. Yes. Mm -hmm. Well, that's a good one. I enjoyed it. Yeah, it was a, it was fun, but a little hard to find a lot of information on these. Yeah, well, especially if it's supposed to be kind of taboo for, like, people that work there to even really talk about it, if they see yeah. it, like, you know? So, um, yeah, like, it's just, I don't know, like, maybe there's a reason they don't want to talk about it. <laughs> right? Like, I don't know. It has enough allure to interest me, but still enough like a lack of sources to make me question it. So it makes right. me just want to go find one and form my own opinion. <laughs> I know. I know. It's like, I do and I don't, you know, it's like, yeah. it's kind of like going into a haunted house. It's like, I want to go in there, but I'm like, huh, do I, don't I, do I, don't I? Like I do, yeah. I do, but then I'm kind of like, oh, you get all nervous. 
where it's like, okay, I'll stay here, but do I want to try to talk to anything? Right. Make contact. <laughs> I don't know. Or should I just sleep? <laughs> yeah. It's like, ah, definitely. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Well, thank you for telling us about the uh, staircase in the woods. I really yeah. enjoyed that. Yeah, absolutely. It was cool. fun. Curious to see what your next topic will be. I'm curious to see what my next topic's going to be as well. <laughs> yeah, I have, I have a lot floating it's around. Endless. I mean, the ideas are endless. So I'm really excited to uh, find a good, a good thing to, to uh, research and tell you guys about. And of course, you can always follow us at um, stormywillow.com or find us on social media. We mostly do Instagram right now. Yeah. Um, so check us out on Instagram, stormywillow.com and let us know like some topics you want us to research or if you've ever experienced this whole phenomenon of the uh, staircases in the woods, then would you go yeah. up them or wouldn't you? What do you think? You know what I wonder is if, what happens if you fall down one of the staircases? <laughs> you know, I need to be real. Like that would happen to me. Is that so. extra like bad? <laughs> like you cracked a hole in the universe. <laughs> you do maybe that's the whole thing with covid somebody fell down the damn stairs damn it and that's what's been going on the past few years i just i i, fell down the stairs. I just have a feeling it was probably dad i, I, I found these staircases in the woods and fell I, down. I had to go up spirit was telling me <laughs> spirit was like telling me actually you're tempting fate and then i fell down those staircases and now and then 2020 happened <laughs> I, I knew my I should have should have kept my powers more toned down that day. Oh my gosh, that's a good thing that they never listen. Dad probably won't listen to this. <laughs> or he yeah, will like five years from now. I'm like, girls, <laughs> I didn't do that. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. That's why you gotta listen. You never know if we're gonna talk about you on the show. <laughs> right. <laughs> Oh, well, Adele, thank you so much again, and thank you for our, to our listeners. Um, definitely stay curious, friends. Yeah, stay curious and stay safe. Absolutely, and we will talk to you next time. Yeah. Bye, guys. Bye.